Look at that. And as you see, these dudes are doing mechanical work. Even though the sign says you're not allowed to do it. But look at all the trash, y'all. There is no commercial bin around here. So they stack it up in here, and this is where all the rats and shit come from. Look at that. He's, he's calling somebody, letting them know I'm out here. As you saw the sign, says no mechanical work to be done on the property and they're doing it here he's calling them and letting them know I'm recording the trash in the, on the thing look at this where are they putting their trash free people you want to know where they're putting it on side of roads in other people's dumps there's the manager inside there. He's looking out the window. He ain't coming outside. But look at this. As you read the sign down there, they're doing mechanical work. Now one of these guys here is certified. But he has manipulated the system to say this is mechanical work putting tires on cars. That is not mechanical work putting tires on car on rims and putting them on cars but this guy i told you he's a car artist but he ain't even good at it he can con these people who don't have time to do their job and that's what's going on when you have the government of tacoma park backing you up so let's see if the new mayor does something about this or will she be in cahoots with them too? Look at that, y'all. You see that green thing? That's where they dumped the oil at back there. Yeah, there's oil back there. Hazardous material. And nowhere on this building does it say hazardous material. Oil is hazardous material, y'all. Look at that. Them tires there, they're going to spray paint them boys. show you to see if I can get a, a better picture of that back there look at that all them tires back there they're gonna soon be on people's cars they take them off of other people's cars Put patches on them in the inside, spray paint them, and then they put them back on people's cars again. That's what they're doing, y'all. And this government is selling us out. As you see, no tags on these cars. got a for sale sign on this one what look at that shit y'all still got his wisconsin tags on there then after they get through
fake fixing them over there. They bring them over here and they store them over here, y'all. Look at these cars here. Not one of them got tags on them. This truck right here goes to these people here. See the temporary tags on them? Look at it, she closing the door. <laughs> she closing the door. And this, they have this food truck here. Yeah, as you see, ain't no customers here. So how they paying their rent? How they paying their rent, y'all? If y'all want some dog food, I'm gonna show y'all the price of the dog food here. They cooking this stuff and they ain't got no running water, nothing to clean with, no sanitation whatsoever. And they feeding this shit to y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm, mm, mm. They feeding this shit to y'all. What well, they feeding it to their own people? Third world country people. But as you see, they pay nine hundred to a thousand dollars, and they ain't got no customers. Where they getting their money from? Well, let me tell you where they getting their money from. This company, this this restaurant, this on the name on this here. Look, Google it. It belongs to a restaurant owner, and this is how they do it. These restaurants get these kind of people to come out and be the slaves for them. They come out and they make buku money for this restaurant and the owners of these restaurants are using them as slaves to launder money through them. And our government is so stupid, they don't even realize that. These people have no clients. They're making nine hundred dollars to a thousand, twelve hundred a month in rent, which this guy here at sixty-six zero zero isn't paying his taxes to the IRS, which I'm going to prove. But where are they getting their money from to pay the rent? Y'all stay tuned.